Hey guys, I want to walk you guys through this on how to take or how to answer a question on the internet using three sources and using our two minutes or less vetting. All right. So the first thing I have to do is I have to answer this question. Here is my research question. What were Jewish concentration camps? All right. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type that up here. What were Jewish concentration camps? And a little insider information. If you put parentheses for kids, you will get websites and sources between fourth and eighth grade reading ability. So once again, I would put parentheses for kids on anything you look up. Who was Adolf Hitler? What was uh, an, what was the armistice? Who was Franz Ferdinand? And then I put parentheses for kids and you'll get websites between fourth and eighth grade. Okay. I recommend all of you do it. All right. I found a few I liked. I found DK find out. I found Duxters.com and I found this one up here uh, titled Types of Camps. And it's by the Weiner Holocaust Library. First of all, DK find out. Cool pictures, a lot of things I can click on to go other places, learn other things. Down here gives me a list of things I'm looking for. All right, up here, easy to read. I understand all the words and it has one nice compact answer for what they were. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say answers my questions. I understood the words and I understand the main idea. And you know what I liked about DK? I like this right here. Concentration camps were prisons where people, especially Jews, were made to work by the Nazis. I like it so much, I'm going to make it my what? Here we go. Concentration camps were prisons where people, especially the Jews, were made to work by the Nazis. Now, it is kind of a simpler one. I have to figure out why they were prisons and the Jews were there. I have to figure that out. So what I want to do is maybe go to my next one, which is this one, and find a good why. Generally speaking, okay, right here. Why? The aim or the reason the concentration camps was to contain prisoners in one place. The administration of camps had a distinct disregard for inmates' lives and health, and as a result, tens of thousands of people perished or died within these camps. I like this for my why. I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. So now I've used two sources. One source for my what? DK, second source here, Weiner Holocaust Library. And as I go through this, I find some actually good information. I don't mind this, but I really liked when I went to Duxters. Now I'm going to go ahead and break this down. Okay, Duxters, by two minutes or less. Uh, let's see, found all the words, easy to read, understand the main ideas. The article was written recently. It was written, I think, in July of 2021. So I like it. I like Duxters, and I found this. This is my how. How did they do it? All the Jewish people were eventually brought to the concentration camps. They were told they were relocating to a better place. This is how they got them to go there. But this was not the case. Concentration camps were like prison camps. People were forced to do hard labor, and the weak were quickly killed or died of starvation. Okay, I'm going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to clunk and chunk the whole thing and drop it here. I can edit from there. Okay, I don't need my sources anymore. I've put my URLs here. I've given my reasons here. And now I have my what, my why, and my how. First thing I do in my summary is reiterate the question. What were Jewish concentration camps? Jewish concentration camps were, so I don't really need this part, Right? So when I drop in my what, I can start with prisons where people, especially Jews, were made to work by the Nazis. Okay? I like it. Now I'm going to drop in my why. It fits. But there are some words. Remember, I have to know what all these words mean. And here it says, the administration of the camps. Okay? I looked that up. It means the direction. So I typed in here in my summary, the direction of the camps. Then it says, had a distinct disregard for inmates' lives. 
that means they didn't care for the inmates' lives and health. And as a result, tens of thousands of people died. I changed the word perished to died because this is my summary. It's going to go into my satomer within the camps. Now I drop in my how. And as I read through my how, all the Jewish people eventually brought the concentration camps. Okay, They were told they were relocating to a better place, but this was not the case. People were forced to do hard labor and the weak quickly were killed or died of starvation. Some camps even had gas chambers. I don't even think I need to put the gas chambers part on there. So I might just drop that. Okay. So I think I have my answer to what were Jewish concentration camps. I like it. I used my first source, DK, my second source, Weiner Holocaust Library, and my third source, Ducksters. And remember, when I vetted it, I put in parentheses for kids to get me these sources that helped me in my reading ability find this for an answer. So this is all you're going to do. But this is not your question. This was the question I did. You guys are going to answer, what was the beer hall putsch? Okay. So you are going to type that up here. And I would recommend putting four kids. So I would go, what was the beer hall putsch? I put four kids there. All right. And then you guys are going to give me three websites you like, three sources. You give me the reasons you liked it. And then you're going to build the what, the why, and the how, and your summary. Don't forget to reiterate the question, what was the beer hall putsch? You're going to say the beer hall putsch was. And make sure you explain to me what a putsch was. Put that in your summary. And make sure you understand all the words. If you do not understand all the words in your summary, you will get called out. Okay? So if there's a word in there, like up here I had administered, I changed it to direction. I had perished, I made sure I said died. So that is what you guys need to do here. Get this done. All right, that's what you're working on today. Go at it.